All righty. So let's check it out. Um, per our email thread discussion, um, I mean, you can absolutely add in the billowing thing of catching air. Why not? Um, I mean, it's definitely going to going to be interesting to see given the speed that you have. But I think the way this goes down and how far you have it now should be enough to still give it a strong, strong impact. The reason why I was going for a straight line was if you have, depending on the size of the creature, and if you have something like an S-curve in there, it just doesn't seem as strong. It depends on the speed, depends on the size of the creature, um, and especially given those arms. I mean, you can try to keep that a certain line and then uh, using whatever joints you have back here to to raise up that back part. If that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. But, you know, it's, it's almost like from this perspective, you would see that part of the membrane up and then you might get a bit lower here visually and then the fingers are here uh, with the tip going up. That could be something to do. Other than that, in terms of the speed, looking at the wings, it's good stuff. You might potentially go further back as your wings are going down here. They go up this way and then over this way. It's a bit of a flat arc and you might get away with a bit more curve back this way potentially so you might even have something you know where you reach your figure eight like that and then as you go up it's a bit more of a curve back than in versus let's go back here versus you know curve down that you like you have and then that's that like right now it feels a bit flat from this perspective side view there's something my main thing is let's go from here there's something about the legs going down that feels a bit slow it's almost like you want to go up as it comes up that force of going up and kind of not that he's pushing off and with his feet but there's something about just that feeling a bit slow and you can add a bit more speed to that so they reached a lower point, maybe three frames earlier, two, three frames earlier. Just for a little bit of a, an urgency. It's a bit slow. From this perspective, it just feels definitely a bit weird. Meaning, there's something about you flap. Let's go from here, right? You go down. And to me, with that downwards move, there are a couple of things. The legs going back here feel too fast. And then your chest drop feels too fast. So when you go up, it feels like it's going up. And a lot of hang time that's that's kind of stuck through there. You can see how when you scrub through here, how it doesn't go up anymore and it doesn't start to drop. It's just kind of hanging. And then suddenly it drops really fast as if it was being pulled down. That's kind of the current impression that I have with this. That sound drop is a bit sharp. And the same thing with the legs. To me, it feels like you want to go. Yeah, that goes just like I said before in the front view. You want to go down and potentially actually um, going this way. I would try that might give you a good sense of force that it's not just drag overlap, but it's almost like it, there's a tension and almost an involuntary push off with the legs so that maybe arcs are going this way versus the other way. And that might help, give you, help you with the sense of force. It doesn't feel so retracted and slow. So you have downwards move, almost stretching out. Yeah, it's still almost a bit backwards there. From the front view, it's an okay offset. It's probably still be careful with how far this leg goes. You can still kind of keep it in there. You know, you're bringing him out for, uh, you know, for offsets, but it just feels a bit odd with that tail curved this way and this going all this way. I think you can keep your face just a bit straighter and then go into a curve with the tail. 
but this is also an unusual view. It just feels, it just feels really crooked going straight in and like that. Um, but ultimately with tails, for me, it's always kind of dependent on what camera you're going to use. Like from this, it feels better because you have that nice tilt, a nice offset there. For this view, and you can also see it in the, in the side view, there's something that feels a bit strange that there's a constant curve up as if it was uh, dropping and it's always some sort of wind going up this way. But then again, you know, I mean, it always depends if you're going for a specific reference. For me, I always treat dragons as massively huge creatures where the drag overlap is, just, is more traditional in terms of chest goes up, hips drag, uh, you know, what the legs were doing. And as it goes up here, your, your tip of the tail might also go this way. And then as this starts to reverse, then uh, you have the tip going up and then it's called, I'm massively exaggerating how far it bends down. But a classical waveform um, overlap, which I mean, you know, in this case, you can say no, and it's just a, a stiffer tail. If you want to go with that, and then all I would do is on the way up here, you can just kind of soften that tip part and just have a bit more drag on that tip there, you know, to here, and then as it goes down, then you can just reverse that section. So it just depends how loose you want to go. There's a tiny bit in there. Uh, I just feel it could be just a bit stronger. And for some reason, it feels more pronounced from this view. That on the way up, it feels like you want to have a bit more of a drag in that tip area. So this going, this visually having that up look as it goes up, feels just a bit odd. And looking at the head, the offsets and uh, the overall tilt on it is cool. But then there's something that also feels, it's kind of like the same, like the legs where they don't quite feel in sync. In sync in terms of what the strength and force is doing, meaning that when you go on that, that either you have the head just a bit lower. I can't draw, I don't know if that helps. Head is here and you go, where was my head? I lost it, there you go. Then you go, on this and then you go but then you have a bit of a more upwards look again i'm exaggerating with how much but where it's kind of the head that uh, kind of reaches forward and leads or you're doing let's go back here and you're doing on this where it's so strong that actually the whole thing is uh is dragging chest goes first everything else is dragging and then as it goes up the head will be Going up here, get yeah, more traditional drag overlap. Obviously, not as much. But you want, you just want a floppy head. But right now, it almost feels a bit in between. It's kind of going up, but there's not much more going on. And then it's already dropping on this. So, and, and with the speed, when you watch it in real time, it feels a bit like a, a, a bit of a lazy head up and drop. I'm sure, if that makes sense for you. Lazy is not exactly a technical term. But there's something about legs and the head just feeling a bit casual. The rhythm and timing of the wings are cool though. Slow, fast, slow, fast. I buy all that. Yeah, the main thing is how it just goes up like that. But in terms of the rhythm and cadence, I think that's pretty cool. And there's something where it seems like you're countering the hips. I'm not sure. There's as you drop this, hips go up, and then there's not much going on in the hips where they have a feeling of this air being pretty stiff, and everything is mostly in the chest going up and down. And again, I would, I, on my end, I would I will go up, and then hips are really dragging, and then as you drop, they're going up a lot more. And that can always be kind of fine-tuned and scaled down, but as of now, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't feel quite connected, all of, all the separate parts. Like I said, especially these sections here, in terms of force, and, uh, where is the, uh, where's the energy of the, of the creature, the strength of that, of that flap, 
with the head kind of staying straight and the legs going right just this way. Yeah, it might, it might already help to kind of change the, the orientation. So instead of, like I said, going this way, the legs go this way and it has a bit of a on that on that way up here. Yes, you can drag the legs, but they can also kind of push this way. Give it a bit of a force at the same time as drag overlap. Um, but that's it. I'm rambling. I kind of like looking at dragon stuff. It's a cool creature. So let me just stop it there. Uh, and you can let me know if that was helpful, just depending on which direction you want to go. And again, we had, we had our uh, email back and forth in terms of what you want to do. And I mean, you can absolutely, like I said, Give it a shot and see how it looks. It's always worth a shot. Uh, and then we can go from there. Alrighty, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.